Hi, my name is John Harrington. I was a former NASA astronaut. I flew an STS-113 and I helped assemble the space station and that was 20 years ago. This is what happened 20 years ago. Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram did not exist. PlayStation 2 was released. People still used cameras with film. I did a spacewalk with a, with a Nikon 35 millimeter film camera and I took, of the 36 exposures on it, I only took 35 uh, because you don't want to take the last one because it can actually break the film when you come back in and you bring the camera back in and it floats for about 24 hours and it thermostabilizes because if you roll the film back really quick, uh, you get little lightning bolts uh, through the negatives. The Nokia 3310 was the best-selling cell phone. The iPhone weren't released for another seven years. I had a flip phone, AAA, BBB, CCC. Hard to do text messages with one thumb. <laughs> George Bush defeated Al Gore to become the 43rd President of the United States. Hanging chads and the Supreme Court. Remember that very well. Unknown British actors Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, and Rupert Grint were cast in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. The final Peanuts comic strip was published. That's sad. The first resident or long-term crew arrives at the International Space Station. Bill Shepard, Navy SEAL, was the first commander. He called it Base Station Alpha, if you knew that, when he first flew. And they brought a, a Navy bell so you could ring aboard the new visiting commanders. You could ring them aboard. A lot has happened in 20 years. I'm glad I played a part in it. How do you think the world will change in the next 20 years? What advancements will we make in space? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, be sure to follow STEM and 30 on Facebook and Twitter, and subscribe to the National Air and Space Museum's YouTube channel.